you are going to watch a small part of my weekly show at Chess24. To get a full version, become a premium member using the short link bit.ly slash c24 premium. Enjoy. Rosloff, who is a composer, uh, I think he was not very uh, famous composer, but uh, every time when I um, see his studies, uh, they just impress me. So, very interesting guy. I just recommend you to, sorry, uh, to um, pay attention to uh, his studies. They are of a good quality usually. Um, so, uh, material relation is quite odd. Um, we can see as for pieces, everything is all right. There is a balance. As for pawns, white has an extra one, but uh, material relation is definitely not uh, what is important here because position is rather sharp, right? Uh, pawn on a2 is about to become a queen once the bishop a1 goes away somewhere. Uh, so white has pawn on a6, and the first move is quite natural, right? So white has to play a7, otherwise uh, white will be just not in time. Uh, to compete with this a2 pawn and well uh, in many cases black has a chance even uh, not to hurry up with going away with the bishop from a1 but simply to take the pawn on a6 after which white's pawns uh, won't be dangerous but pawn on a2 will be still um, a great pawn and uh, most likely the queen in a few moves so a7 should be played and this move is very good because there is a threat of promotion with check uh, which gives black no chances uh, to go away from a1 because uh, the queen after appearing on a8 uh, will be not uh, only just a new queen <laughs> but also the piece which will stop the pawn a2 in many in many lines and so on but uh, well it's again not the most important thing because after a8 queen uh, and uh, the only move king to d7, uh, there will be a threat of uh, promotion of another pawn. So when c7 becomes a queen, it's definitely an easy win for white. So uh, what black has here? Only some checks, right? Only checks can uh, stop white from uh, promoting the pawn because black simply has no, uh, even a single uh, chance to stop the pawn uh, directly. So bishop goes to a4 here. We can notice that black has a chance to uh, chase the king somehow because once the king uh, occupies uh, the dark square there will be a check from the bishop somewhere let's say after king d2 bishop c3 and uh, this gives black a very important tempo uh, to promote the pawn in time so in such a case uh, black uh, definitely not at risk of uh, losing the bishop because if king takes uh, the bishop then a1 queen check and after uh, let's say king goes away bishop b2 is not serious because of queen a1 check so if king g goes away the bishop from a4 at very least goes away as well and a7 will be stopped that is that is the point um so this way uh, by the way, why bishop to a4? Because, uh, well, bishop h5 is not a move at all. In this case, we just play king c2 and the king is already uh, at the safe uh, zone because uh, there is no other check, all right? So uh, if bishop goes to g6, knight simply takes on g6. That's a very important moment. And uh, that's it. Watch simply wins after that. So only bishop a4. Uh, so if king goes to d2, as I said, uh, then bishop to c3. And so on. If king uh, keeps moving uh, along, um, let's say, diagonal d1, h5, I mean, occupying uh, light squares, then bishop keeps checking this king. For example, king e2, bishop b5, uh, king f3, bishop c6, king g4, bishop d7, king h5, bishop e8. So that's the point behind black's play, right? So once the king occupies dark square, the bishop checks, then uh, the queen or something like that, and so on. So um, let's have a look if we can change the color, yeah, immediately, and then after uh, bishop c3, uh, king e3, yeah, bishop d4, king f4, bishop e5, king g5, bishop f6, king h6, so it should be considered 100%, because now after bishop g7, uh, we can uh, probably take uh, h7 pawn. 
Yeah, and after king h7, bishop goes to c2, unfortunately. Another check, then a1 queen, stopping a7 pawn. Uh, the question from chat, can't white simply hide on g1? It's not possible. I mean, it's not possible to get to g1. Because uh, once you occupy the dark square, let's say king e1, then bishop c3 check, king f1, bishop b5 check. Yes, you hide on g1, but then a1 queen and stops your pawn. So black does everything, uh, gaining tempi. That's the point. And, uh, well, other route to g1 uh, is also not possible. So, I mean, it's not possible to get to g1 uh, just going through light squares only. Yeah, so uh, inevitably you have to occupy the dark square when the bishop comes to play. Yeah, it's tricky, tricky. Um, but still, um, let's have a look on the position after um, this king d2, bishop c3, king e3, so the king is here, uh, bishop g7, and king h7. So, if there is no other um, chance for black to survive it, uh, except for bishop c2, then might be it is a good hint for us what to what to do in this study in general, right? Uh, and true, black has nothing but bishop c2, so everything uh, is actually possible only because of this bishop c2 check here in the final uh, position of this uh, long line. Uh, if there is no bishop c2, white wins. So next move, queen, and so on. So let's have a look if we have a chance to break the harmony uh, of uh, black here. Of course, uh, well, in this line, we, we, we can't achieve anything more because everything is pretty much forced. So let's come back to our initial uh, bishop a4 and moving through light squares. Let's say king e2, bishop b5, king f3, bishop c6. Again, it's not possible to occupy the dark square. The bishop a1 just checks and that's it. King g4, bishop d7, king h5, bishop here. If we come back, well, nothing changed. If king h6, then uh, bishop g7, a1 queen. But we have the knight here. So uh, we can try knight to g6. Uh, such a move can make a big difference. So let's have a look if that works. Uh, what the point, first of all? Uh, what happens if bishop takes? So uh, black's defense is based on uh, checks with the bishop, right? But when the bishop is uh, too close to the king, it's uh, not possible to keep checking it. So after bishop g6, let's say king goes to g4. There is no check with the bishop. I mean, sensible one, we just grab the bishop and win. Uh, and if h5, then king goes to f3 and uh, again, no checks. And we just promote uh, prior to black does anything and win the game. So h takes g6 should be played. And now it looks like, well, we can play king h6, but if we play king h6 immediately, then bishop g7, check, king h7 and a1 queen, right? Stopping the pawn. So what's the problem now uh, after h takes g6? The problem with that, uh, well, uh, the a file is not that uh, closed, right? So we still uh, need black's bishop on a4 to make everything work. So king goes back. King g4, king f3, king e2, king d1, bishop a4. Yeah, so now the a file is closed by this bishop. And now it's time to change uh, the color. So king goes to d2 finally. Bishop c3, king e3. So the same line, but with the pawn on g6, that's a big difference. So now king goes to h7. That is uh, what I was talking about. So g6 pawn covers diagonal b1, h7. And uh, black's harmony is simply broken. Uh, and a file is closed. So if a1 queen, let's say, then okay, we also promote with check, which is important. After king d7, another pawn becomes a queen and well, it's a checkmate uh, in a couple of moves. That's the point. Uh, one of my favorite studies for sure, because uh, to solve it, uh, you need, uh, well, to calculate several lines and then uh, to come up with the idea of knight g6, to come up with the idea of uh, making a difference. So it's like the advanced uh, advanced uh, uh, technique of calculation, uh, which is called a comparison, right? So you just compare one line to another. It looks like this uh, lines with uh, immediate king d2 and uh, 
king d2 um, after this knight g6 are similar, well, in the sense of the result, but they are not because of this very important difference. So pawn g6 covers the angle b1, h7, and this means the king can hide on h7, right? Just a great study, in my opinion. Again, about the harmony, so everything worked fine uh, for uh, black, except for this uh, uh, thing uh, with the diagonal b1, h7, right? Not a simple one, of course, but very nice one and uh, very instructive, in my opinion. So if you uh, go uh, through the moves one and uh, one time after another, right, uh, until uh, everything is uh, uh, driven home, I think you will benefit from it, especially in the sense of thinking process, right? So how to get to this solution, how to come up with that, and so on. To access more instructive chess videos, subscribe to my channel.